decided to do a little upgrade to my battery storage or battery compartment. As you know, I got very little room to uh, maneuver, so I decided that the, the width is not a problem of the opening, but the height is, a, is, is terribly low. And I still have a little bit of uh, room available to open it up, but it has to stay stiff enough because it supports my fridge and so on. So I decided to cut out that top piece about half an inch or so. So. Now I have to do a little more hand work. And a little bit of vacuuming. Hi, Joey. Ow. And finally some uh, polyurethane just to cover it up. So I'm putting these uh, rods in, cut them, I cut all four of them with nuts and washers on both sides, uh, address these two, but now I have to do it on this side. And these are nylon lock nuts. What I still want to do then is file these rough edges because that's been sawn through. So now I'm going to connect the BMS leads and fasten as many bolts as I can for the time being. Now I'm going to put the BMS leads on and I have a schedule so I have to be very careful. Black has to go to the negative that's here. It consists of five wires in this case because it's a four cell system. It has a black then three whites and a red lead. So this has to be, the black has to go to the negative. I uh, have to really think about those things. Then I have to do it in order. The first next one is a white. And I'll put it onto the negative here. And then the remaining is a red one. And that has to go to the positive, red and positive. Now I'm going to drill some holes for the uh, fuse box. Now some cables, this is a number 6 gauge, 5 sixteenths. That's good. I'm at the point of uh, assembling everything for the last time, but before I do that I want to use some uh, isopropylene uh, to clean all the connections just to make sure ok 
Okay. I need to do, let's see, the small sized one here. And let me. Just do this, and this one, and then I'll put the fuse on top. I got these uh, set screws, but I don't want them to be turned any deeper into the terminal, the battery cell. So what I'll do is, I'll hold it in this position. It is locked in with some Loctite, just want to be careful. Okay, now some zip ties to tie these leads. Then I need to snip these off. Okay, then I had one terminal here on the top. I still forgot to, to connect the uh, BMS to the, the negative port, yes. Um, so I have to undo this one first. Okay, so let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes makes a big difference. This one. Now I have to attach this one. That's a C minus. Then I still have two things to work on. I've got a temperature sensor that I have to connect, and this is my Bluetooth connection. I uh, mentioned it earlier and said it was a Wi Fi, but it's a Bluetooth. Yep. And finally, I have this temperature sensor, and I'll connect that to the side of the battery just using some electrical tape for that. I also still wanted to show you how I attach the leads to the ring terminals. I got one BMS here with the power leads here. This is uh, Wi-Fi. I got a temperature sensor as well as five leads for the battery terminals. What I need is uh, put a terminal on, a ring terminal of a quarter inch. These are 22 gauge but still too wide so I'll fold up the end two or three times and then put them together. Uh, before I do that I'll take some uh, heat shrink, I'll slip them on, okay, so then my ring terminal, they should slide on, there they go. And then with all these terminals wrapped in uh, shrink wrap, 
I have to heat them up. And that's how they look like. And finally, I got a tip from Mark, and you know who you are, um, about a possible issue about these metal rods. These threaded lock rods, uh, they might, because they, at least the top one's so high up, they might pose a threat where, for, for shorting. So what I thought, I still had some wire loom at hand. Okay. It looks good. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to check whether my app works, and my Bluetooth. I have to first connect the BMS to the batteries, otherwise the batteries aren't working. And I have to do the same with the other battery seem to be working so let me see okay now I got two BMS's oh I can only connect to one at a time It's working. Okay. Well, I have connected both batteries. Uh, and these are the two Bluetooth receivers. So let me see what I can do. This is the app that you can download. One is going on here. Oh, that's because I already chose it. So the nominal capacity, that's something I have to change. Yeah. to go to charging low temps, charging over temperature, charging under temperature. I should change the charging under temperature instead of the minus one Celsius it's just just freezing to two degrees 
Celsius, so that's just slightly above freezing. Charging on the temperature release to six degrees. I still have to go over all these numbers uh, that should be okay, but just want to know what information is really available and what's relevant. Unlink that that's oh, so now I got. The two batteries, the first one is called battery one, that's the one I just renamed. And now I'll connect to the other one. Uh -huh. There comes up my light. Then I have to nominal capacity. Then the cycle capacity should be 80%. 80% is 217.6. Keep it on to 17. That works. So I think that I got my two batteries. The next step is to install them in the van. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.